Hey, Bobcat Nation, Al Weston here again for another Bobcat Coach's Corner, and we got Steve Barsby with us, going to talk some tennis and maybe some other things as well. How are we doing? If we can squeeze in some hockey at the end, as always, we'll try that. We will try and squeeze it out <laughs> as best as possible. Uh, all right, so uh been a long time since we talked to you last, but uh, really finished this season strong for both squads uh, yeah. and, and beating multiple nationally ranked teams coming down the stretch to solidify those Peach Belt tournament slots and actually kind of move up those standings a little <coughs> bit. Uh, are, are these squads playing their best tennis of the year right now? Right now we are. Uh, this past weekend, uh, you know, was nervous going into it a little bit, you know, because you never know. Uh, all the teams are good. And, and on Friday at Augusta came out unbelievably well, uh, playing real good to start carried it on, uh, was worried about a little bit of a letdown because Aiken was a little behind Augusta in the rankings. And uh, we actually came out and played better against Aiken on the Saturday morning. So in back-to-back -back matches, it was it was a great surprise and very positive heading into this weekend. Yep, three or four in a row, I think, for both squads coming down in, into the end yep. of the regular season yep. here. Uh, is it all good coaching? Is that, is that where no, it comes No, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, you know, you try to get them ready. You recruit good guys, and, and you, you, you know, we play a tough schedule. Uh, so they're ready at the end of the year. Uh, I've done nothing different than the teams that went 7-15 and 15, than the teams that went 15-7. and seven. So it's the quality of kids you have. Now, I know the men's side, there hasn't been too many changes in the lineup, but the women's side, you, you kind of did an upheaval on the, uh, the doubles pairings, in, in a sense, and, and that seemed to, to spark some victories for you there. Is, was that part of the difference, do you think? Maybe a little bit. We were struggling a little bit at two and three doubles, and, and we just – Tried some different chemistry to see if it would work, and it worked. Uh, um, so, you know, you make a couple changes. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. So that one we were right. So. Now, on the women's side, uh, uh, Kayla Barksdale appears to be uh, going to win that uh, MVP type of award <laughs> yeah. that you guys give for the, the person who pulls off the most uh, victories. Um, she's been pretty dominant this year uh, in her slot, and, uh, and it's, she's probably one of the better Georgia tennis players we've ever had. Oh, Kay, Kay's done a great job. Kay works hard. Kay, Kay's a good competitor. I get on her about beating herself up sometimes on the court a little bit too much. But, uh, you know, she's a gamer. She's been hurt a lot of this year. And, you know, she spends two hours in the training room or an hour before the match and an hour after the match just so she can play. Uh, but, you know, just a great kid uh, working hard. You know, and the victories she's got have been in some big matches. So I'm real proud of her. And uh, the important thing to remember about tennis is that it, it doesn't matter where you get those wins from. You just got to get five of them. You yeah. know? So uh, a player that plays six is just as important as a player that plays one. Yeah. We've had the MVP award we give out for the most wins. Uh, we've had our number one guy win it. We've had our number six girl win it You know, on different, different years. So, and, and they know that. They know that everyone's important. And, and our girls team this year is pretty deep. So Kay's playing four, but I'm going to say one through – four to five were probably very similar. And uh, as, as we switch sides uh, back to the men, uh, talking about uh, Johan Wadstein and Jerome LeBorn, they've really been solid yeah. for you up on the top half, uh, both in doubles and singles. Yeah. Th those guys work extremely hard. Uh, you know, we have our normal practice, and then, you know, they're out there at night by themselves practicing with each other. Uh, so they've done a real good job. And, you know, they – they know that Jerome's career is coming to an end this spring, and and Johan's you know about to start his senior year next year. So they want to end good and, and, and do well, and uh, for themselves and the team. So it's it's been real nice to see that their hard work is paying off. And another guy that's a junior is uh, and has worked his way into the lineup is is our pal Wick Nasty, <laughs> uh, Victor Anderson. He, he's he's getting those victories for you at that sixth yeah. slot, and and also in doubles action as well. I mean. Uh, Victor just, he's, he's a good student athlete. He's a nice guy that you want to get out there yeah. as, as a poster child for, for what athletics can do at this level. Yeah, Vic's, Vic's a good kid. He, he came in at a time, we, we, we were a little up and down at six with him and with Tyler at the start of the year. They're very similar players. Um, you know, I don't, you know, 50-49, you know. Um, and then Vic came in at a time and got a few, is playing well right now. So he came in and and so we're going with him right now to see how it plays out. But, you know, 
between the Peach Belt and the regionals if we get in. It could change. You never know. But they're, him and Ty, they're both great kids. And, and like I said, real happy that he's getting some wins right now. What's cool, too, is that, that they have done such a great job accepting their roles, you know, the ability yeah. to uh, to say, hey, maybe I'm not going to be in the top six for this match, yeah. but I still got to get my job done in doubles. Yeah. You know, that, that there's no loss of focus and that type of thing yeah. for either one of those guys. And that goes back to, to your previous joke about is it the coaching? No, it's the quality of guys you have. <laughs> it's uh, Tyler, Tyler, Vic, all those guys, you know, they know it's about the team and about the university and they're going to work hard no matter if they're number one or number 406. So, uh, um, but they've done a real good job. So uh, heading into the weekend, we get things rolling on Friday at that Peach yep. Belt Conference Tournament. They'll be up in uh, Greenwood, South Carolina at Lander University. I believe they have, they have a new facility there, don't they? New 12-court facility, real nice. Uh, maybe one day we'll have one of those, but uh, <laughs> no. Uh, a real nice place. Shameless uh, plug there. Yeah. Any donations, go to GC Athletics for the <laughs> tennis court. Real nice. They, they did a nice facility. They did a combination tennis, baseball, softball, soccer with the community. Uh, great place to play. So looking forward to it. All right. So uh, the, the, the field there always, you know, the toughest in all of Division <laughs> Two. I mean, this is a conference that, you know, I mean, all, just about top to bottom nationally ranked and, and winning multiple national championships coming out of this league. Uh, you guys are the fifth seed on both yes. sides. Yes. Uh, the women get Flagler. And the men, uh, refresh my memory, who they get got Francis there? Marion. Francis Marion, that's right. Unfortunately, losses to both of them in the regular season, but uh, that was a much different uh, tennis squad <laughs> than, than we've got playing right now, isn't it? Yeah, I think that the guys, when the bracket came out, they're, they're looking forward to it. Uh, they're revved up about it already. That They really want to get a chance to play Francis Marion. And the girls, the day we lost to Flagler, I think we lost 6-3, just didn't play well. And they know it. I know it. So uh, hopefully on Friday, uh, 1 o'clock, we can come out with a little better effort. We were down 3-0 after doubles. So hopefully with the new doubles pairings, that can turn around a little bit. So, All right. So a, a big weekend. And this may help decide those elements of you know whether or not we make that, that national tournament, the regional portion of that. Um, do, do you think these, these could have a, a sense in, in that play? Yeah. On, on the girls' side, it's going to be a huge impact on Friday to see if as Wendell says, if the streak stays alive. But uh, uh, the guys, I think, uh, from what we've done over the past two to three weeks, I think the guys, I'll be shocked if they don't get in uh, the regionals. But the girls are still one of those teams that they're talking about. Um, I think we've got a good argument to be in, um, but we'll see. You know, If we win Friday, I think our argument becomes real solid. But uh, I don't make those decisions. So. Well, obviously uh, a big weekend for uh, Bobcat Athletics as we start both the softball and the tennis uh, Peach Belt Conference tournaments. Uh, Going to stay tuned to gcbobcats.com for all the, the action there up from uh, Greenwood, South Carolina as we try and get you updates throughout the day. Uh, we'll root you on and hopefully come home with a couple of victories, huh? That's what we're hoping for. All right, so uh, our time here has come to a close for uh, Steve Barsby, Al Weston for the Bobcat Coach's Corner.